Hi guys, let me show you how to solve a quadratic equation using Algebra Made Easy. And I will also show you how to do factoring, computing and simplifying as well. Okay, let's do the quadratic equation. So we go to menu, option 5, do the quadratic equation. And we just enter the quadratic equation without equal 0. So we're going to enter 2x squared minus x minus 3. Never have to press enter. The answer shows right away. Just have to scroll up and here is all we need to know. Quadratic equation like this has these solutions. Okay, so we have to identify what A and B and C is. A is 2 because that's the number in front of x squared. B negative 1 and C is negative 3. So when we plug in A, B and C into this quadratic equation, which is done, let me scroll down, it's done right here, and then we're going to simplify this expression, which is happening here, keep on simplifying, keep on simplifying, we're going to end up with two solutions, plus minus 5 over 4 plus 1 over 4, and when we do each of these out, we're going to get these two solutions, negative 1 and 3 over 2, which can be simpli uh, verified by plugging in those two numbers into the given quadratic equation. And then here you also see the um, decimal solution instead of the fractional solution. Okay, so that's how it goes, step by step. Works for any quadratic equation. x squared minus 4, as we all know, has solutions plus and minus 2. We can still do the quadratic equation. Here you're going to get a equals 1, b is 0 because we have no x term and c is negative 4. So plug in a, b and c into our quadratic equation and doing it all out, we end up with plus minus 2. Okay, so it works like a charm. Let me show you also how to factor and compute things. Well, for factoring, we go to Algebra and we're going to go to option 5, Factoring. Got to enter our expression, such as x squared minus x minus 72. And there is the factored version. Very simple. Computing. That's the same as evaluating. We go to Algebra option 4 and we just have to enter our expression negative 5 squared we get 25. That's different from negative quantity 5 squared. Okay, so here we first do the squaring and then afterwards um, add the minus sign to it. Okay, notice the difference. Here we are squaring negative 5, and negative 5 times negative 5 is just 25. And we can also simplify expressions. That is again done by using simplify and evaluate. Just type in your expression 2x squared times quantity x squared plus. 3x. Well, it is simplified in the sense that um, we get a, the simplified version of 2x cubed times x plus 3. So the x plus 3 is uh, factored because uh, that is what's left after factoring. Okay, so we can factor and simplify any expression. Just check out the algebra menu. If we use the expand option, then we will have no um, factored terms left. So let me show you that last. 2x squared times x squared plus 3x. Okay, so if we want to expand this um, expression, without having any factors left, then this is what we get after expanding it. 
All right, thanks for watching. This is Algebra Made Easy, solves all algebra problems step by step, only runs on handheld calculators. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.